Okay, hey everybody, this is Grayson. This video, I'm going to talk about somebody getting instant karma right in front of me. That's a little bit different. Uh, first of all, I'm not going to dox anybody by showing the place or naming the names or naming the place and all that kind of stuff. No. Um, but it happened. <laughs> it's not exactly what some would call karma. Now, I'm not one to believe in things like uh, the way some people believe in karma. I just think that sometimes people get what they deserve. They, they put out, they do something so so many times and so wrong, they are wrong for doing whatever or saying whatever or both, whatever it is. And then it comes back, turns right back around on them. But, some, you know, I believe it's coincidental. You know, if it's something that's like, wow, bizarre, that's coincidental. And uh, I believe in coincidences. You know, I don't think that it's some... You know, I just, I to believe in coincidence, put it that way. Just leave it there. And, uh, but it was pretty funny to me still. Now, people have told me since they've known me, and I've said this, and I don't believe in things like jinx or uh, bad luck or good luck or stuff like that. I think it's just, it happens. <laughs> you know? I'm not one to believe in all that kind of stuff. The magical stuff and everything. Uh-uh. And, uh. But I do have some of the strangest things happen to me. Seriously. And like Adam, he's older than I. We, we met and married like when I was 18. I'm 59 now. So yeah, it was a long time ago. And uh, it's and he knows me. He, he you know, of course. And he's seen some of the strangest things. And he's, nah. But then he's, you know, he knows he can't deny that I have some of the strangest things happen to me. And it's pretty much always bad. <laughs> So today, what is this bus sitting behind me? But today, um, we we went to a place, and on the way there, he, he started talking to like, "Well, what's gonna happen to you, <laughs> you know, with this one?" Because it's it's very odd. But at the same time, I kind of understand it because of people. I'm a tall woman, and some people see me. I've learned over all these years that some people see me as a challenge. You know, like, especially females, um, you know, they're going to challenge me. You know, okay, I'm back. Okay. Now, they're going to challenge me like, oh, they show that there's something else. This big, you know, this tall woman. I call myself a gentle giant. I'm really not all that tall anymore. You know, you kind of, anyway. <laughs> but, but they, like, they want to challenge me and show they are, they are this and they are that. And I'm like, what the crap? <laughs> I'm a gentle giant. I'm a nice person. But I look at him like, really now? Seriously? And, uh, or just, I just ignore it. I mean, most of them just, whatever. My goodness, you know? And then there's some people who are intimidated by me. And I'm like, really? What am I doing that's so intimidating except being here? You know? And I'm not putting out any negative energy. And, you know, being all aggressive. And, no, I'm not an aggressive person either. So, then this background bit is important to the story. Okay. And it's, it's, you know, still to this day surprises me when people act like this. I mean, I'm like, what grade are you in? <laughs> you know? Thinking in my mind, what grade are you in? Really? Really? Seriously now? And, uh, so anyway, so today, you know, Adam was saying, and, and that kind of thing is what I was talking about, is that I'm either going to be challenged or people are going to be intimidated by me and they're, they're scared of me. Oh, you know, the, the ones that are more histrionic will, um, saying that oh I'm so scared of her I'm not a scary person okay it's just that histrionics love to be a victim to somebody you know I, that's my experience in life and yeah they love that being oh I'm such a victim and all this you know when they're not when they're the victimizers now there are people I don't, I don't I'm not one of those that says people who are victims shouldn't say they're victims no what is what is your problem if you do <laughs> really for people who are victims, and having people say, "Well, this is a victim kind of, um, kind of how they put it," so many people want to say they're victims. Those are the people I would have would their way. You know, I would see red flags all over the place for people who say, "You know, this is negative stuff about victims. That's blaming the victim." Okay, you're you're making it worse. I would red flags, major red flags, like that's because they're one of those who. Make victims of people, Ooh, you know, or they're just ignorant and they heard it from somebody and think it makes them sound good. Something along, something along that line. 
Anyway, let me get to this story, okay? Okay. Anyway, yeah, let me, let me, let me get like this if you're ke keeping me from going there. But basically it was this. So well, on the way there, Adam and I were saying, you know, talking about what's going to happen to me this time. And so we get there and he says he's been to this particular place before. I was like, why weren't we going to the other one that he, we had both agreed to go to? And uh, he just said, I, you know, he'd been there before. Well, apparently he hadn't. <laughs> He was, he couldn't remember where it was, all this, and it was the traffic and all that, trying to figure it out, where to go and all these things, okay? And I had to figure it out, and I, I don't have my, I've never used my GPS in my car. In fact, it's, I bought it brand new in May of 2019. This is April of 2023, and it just turned past 8,000 miles today. <laughs> Seriously, it's 8,007 right now. Miles on the same. It looks like new. It does. Real inside and out. It, it really does. Because it only has 8,007 miles. 8,007. So anyway. So we go in there. You know, we go there and he can't figure it out. He's saying it must be down further. I said, no. <laughs> so look at the numbers, you know. There was a time before GPSs. You, do people know that? But, um, yeah, some of us could figure out where these places are going to be. Anyway, so we go into this place, okay? And right when we walk in the door, it was barely, I would say, I'm looking around my my, uh, my uh, SUV here, and I would say two or three SUV sizes, you know, put together. It was not a big place. So say two. It was not a big place. For people and walk inside and they have these machines and this apparently is becoming the big thing now which is just another way of not hiring enough people and uh, you know people aren't getting hired for the jobs like this woman that was there she said we used to have somebody out there now it's us you know, the employees you know instead of you know the other but the other employees we never had to do this kind of stuff before it's all confusing, and it was. It was all confusing, okay. And uh, it was a machine you just put in and whatever and all the information, and people were confused because of the machine. I've I've seen plenty of these machines, and they they're all different, and they're not that easy because especially when it's your first time, and when you're first walking in, and you 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 first walking into some place, and it's crowded. People are standing there, and people are all confused. You're new. You're confused. What are, what are we doing? And then there are these two, you know, two or three people working there, and they're they're all confused because they just now got them, and it's like all confusion. And one of them is a royal. You know what I'm saying? Is a royal. Yeah, a total jerk. It's a woman, the kind that sees me and oh, I'm on it. I'm the one she's going to attack. Boom, she's going to do. It's, it's seriously, I've seen this my whole life, pretty much my whole life. Okay, that certain type, that whole attitude, like she's this big woman and she's not fat. I'm talking, she's a big, you know, like top dog big. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not physically big. But she she's going to show she's on top of the ladder and everybody better mind her. I mean, people who are paying for whatever services it is, we're not your employees. And that's how you treat your employees? You don't deserve that job. Really. Seriously. But she's a bully. Okay, a big bully. And she's in there and she's talking down to to the other customers. You know, the people are going, what the heck? What's going on here? This is not how it's been ever been done before. You know, people of all ages, you know, they're just confused, and uh, and she's like barking orders and not being, she's not being, you know, well, as it turns out, she's the manager, as it turned out, and uh, she does not need that job, yeah, there's other people who are much nicer need to have that job, yeah, a jerk who's a jerk to all the customers, you know, have you ever walked into a place in the there's a jerk there working there. You know, who in the world do you think you are? Seriously. Well, she decides she's going to be rude to me. Well, she was rude to everybody, really. You know, bossy. 
uh, like she's everybody's boss. No, you're not. But, uh, and I asked her a question. I said, well, how do we do this ahead of time? And, uh, because she was saying, you're supposed to do this beforehand. You're supposed to do it before you got here. You know, this kind of thing. And she's probably maybe 45 years old. It doesn't really matter how old she is. It doesn't matter at all. You know, but at all. You're rude, you're rude. No matter what age, no matter what anything. That's rude. You don't need that job. You know, and I'm not saying you. Anybody who is like that. Seriously. And, uh, so anyway, she just turns around and walks off. And I said, how do we do it? You know, before she got the room. How do we, you know, because she was being rude to all the other people too. And in a, in a way, it kind of, they looked at me like, tell her off. <laughs> I kind of got that vibe. I'm not kidding. Kidding. I, I'm like, they were all looking at me like, do something about that jerk. You know? <laughs> to me, I mean, it's making me laugh now. But I said that, you know, I said it again. I said, how are we supposed to do it ahead of time? And she says, I'm going to get you something. I said, well, I didn't know. You didn't, you didn't say anything. You didn't answer. You didn't respond. And I think I said, you didn't respond. So how would I know? And she said, I'm going to get you something. I said, how would I have known? Or I said, I had no idea. You know, just as snarky as her. <laughs> Actually, I was nice. Actually, I wasn't snarky at all. My, my typical way is just being nice, but still reminding people who are like that, you're not going to pull that on me. It's not going to happen. So she came back and she handed it to me. Now, the whole thing was, if you didn't have already set it all up, then you're last in line. You know, one of those, I mean, there's so many different kinds of places where you're going to be last in line if you didn't have an appointment or you didn't have have a pre-ordered something or, you know, whatever it is, okay? Whatever kind of service. There's so many. and uh, But you have to pre-order when you've never pre-ordered anything in your life before there. You know, that service. And I, and I told them flat out, I said, I haven't, uh, I had no idea how it was. You know, they were saying, before we, it was this way, one nice one. And I said, I would not know. I said, I haven't been to anything like this, uh, any one of these places in like 20 years. <laughs> you know? But it was she, that other one, she really wanted to be all bossy and stuff. She didn't like any answer like that. And she said, meh, 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 to anybody, anybody in there. Okay, gotta point that out. Anybody, everybody. Now, in fact, I did not see her be nice to anybody. But the other woman, she was nice to everybody. And then there was another one. I think she was kind of running in and out. And she was like, I'm staying out of this. <laughs> you, know? you know. Yeah. But anyway. So, it, like, I, like I was saying. You know. We did not. Adam and I. We both did not know that you have to order ahead of time. And all this stuff. And uh, because they said they just got those machines. Well. We don't even know what that machine is. <laughs> we're not, I mean, we can figure that out, but still, it's you know. And a lot of people are saying, but um, that's well, that's not right. You know, the way that they were, you know, the, the mean, as it turned out, manager was being, you know, so rude. And uh, okay, lock my door here. But you know, she was being, you know, that. So everybody had to sign in or whatever you call it. I guess you call it sign in on that little machine. And, uh, you know, those who had already pre you know, had already done it online or wherever. She never really answered my question, but you know, she gave me some paper. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But, you know, it, it made no sense. I didn't even read it, really. But she, you know, so everybody who was, they were supposed to be first. And the rest of us were just going to have to wait. You know, like old-fashioned waiting in line. Okay, so what? I was raised waiting in line. So, you know, stand in line and wait your turn. I say that quite often. People need to remember that. Stand in line and wait your turn. You don't go into a store and put your hand in front of somebody's face, which ha happens far too much these days. It's past how many years now? <laughs> but anyway, so, okay, fine, we'll wait. And I, But she kept being so rude. I turned around and looked at Adam and I said, you want to go to that other one, another one? said because she's being a bitch and I said it you know I did say that I said, she's just being a bitch and pretty much like that and 
I mean, they had bound to have heard me, but at the same time, I thought, thought maybe not, because Adam goes, what? You know, like he's trying to hear what I had said. And I said, she's just being a bitch. And she was. Now, what I call a bitch is not a female dog in heat and not uh, when, when somebody's being rude. Male or female, I don't care what gender you are. You're being rude, you're being rude. Okay. Now, anyway, um, but I usually don't say that. That's what's funny is I usually don't use that kind of words. I worked around too many kids, too many elderly, too many pe different, you know, types that and it just was never part of me to do. But that was, she was, it was too, uh, I'm not even going to make an excuse for it because it was wrong. It was wrong of me to say that. But she's just being a bitch. I don't care if it was a male or female. That's not my kind of language, okay? And, uh, but I did. And it was shocking. It was kind of shocking to me. And then Adam said, then, then right when, right when I said that to him, that same woman, she had gone back there to get me that form that she was going to hand me to show me how you do it ahead of time. And, uh, the other one, it just, she didn't even say this what she was going to do at first. You know, it's so rude. And she had that form in her hand and she called out for the first customer, you know, first person there. <laughs> Guess whose name it was? <laughs> you got it. It was mine. <laughs> and I'm telling you, everybody in there, including me, when she said my first name, I said, I looked around and I said, that's me. I mean, she was making such a big deal about me that I would have to wait, you know, wait in line and people, these people come first. And, well, not just me, but everybody, but she was being especially rude to me. And like I said, the people around there were looking like, do something, do something to her. <laughs> Tell her off, whatever. And uh, I, th I think I did, but maybe they didn't. They, they were sick of her. I mean, you could tell the people were so upset because of how rude she was being to everybody. And uh, I think some of them may have even just walked out, you know, and uh, so, when she said that, the other one, that one that she handed, she handed it instead of take, you know, instead of her dealing with it, she gave it to the other woman, <laughs> the one that was being nice. And the other woman, I think everybody's jaw just dropped, you know, you know just open, not really jaw dropped, but, you know, kind of like, wow. <laughs> and I, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know if I laughed or not, but to me. That was instant karma, uh, in a sense, for that that mean manager. But they didn't end there, because as much as she was trying to be rude to me, like she wanted to put me in my place, quite literally, even you know where I am in line and all that. It wasn't a place to stand in line, but you know, just being so rude for no reason, just 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 being rude. And but she was rude, like I said, to everybody which is especially me, like I keep saying. And for her to do that, and then immediately, <laughs> out of all what she was saying, that, you know, people who do this, people who do that, they are first. I'm first. The machine says me. Okay? And I was even wondering, wonder why I'm so special in this. <laughs> why did the machine pick me? And she was even, you know, telling Adam some stuff. That, that why I wouldn't be this. And I'm like, what the? You know? Why is, why is in the world she telling him that? Being so rude. So, so I go back there. And there was something that it was a typical screw up. And I was telling that nice one, you know, about, you know, these forms and all this stuff. And I said, yeah, it was just so, took so long and all this stuff. And uh, she said, yeah, man. You know, she was all... And she was telling me about her life stories and you know, what was going on with her, her friend. And, you know, and I was saying, well, I'm, it's really good that you, you know, were able to get your friend a good job. You know, things like that. And she was just telling me this. The people usually do. You know, the people who don't jump and are immediately rude to me, they tell me their problems. They tell me their life stories. I'm used to it. I am. And I, just, I think it's cool. <laughs> you know, it's fine. And, uh. Anyway, something happened, and she goes, i, I got to find this out. She didn't want to go to the manager. That's how I found out that woman was the manager. She wanted to ask somebody else, and another person said, I have no idea. I've never heard of that. 
and uh, and but she was looking at me like suspiciously too. And I'm like, oh my goodness, here I am. Now they're gonna look at me suspiciously. But the nice one wasn't <laughs> okay. But the other woman she asked was, and then finally she went back. She go, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ask my manager. She got the manager in there. The manager was like, hmm. You know, she was trying to find a way to blame me. <laughs> well, but she couldn't. You know, and she said, well, she was right after all. <laughs> it was just so funny to me because apparently she was, the, the, the one she called in and then the other one, they were both trying to tell me, say that I, I was wrong. You see? That, oh, she's just trying something. But she said, no. She goes, you know, when it all figured out, she goes, she was right after all. <laughs> she, she looked at me and she said something like, sorry about that, but yeah, you were right after all. Yeah, customers aren't always wrong. It's, it's so switched since I was young that now too many think the customer's always wrong. It used to be the customer's always right. Well, the customers aren't always right, but they're not always wrong. Too many people can't can't see that they're, you know, they, they think in terms of black and white, you know, all or none or something like that. They don't see any shades of gray. They just, they cannot think that way. That just because they're, you know, they're, you know, people say all the customers are right. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I just had a sudden pollen attack. <laughs> I mean, the pollen allergy attack. Oh my, that was something else. I had to turn it off. And I just couldn't even breathe all of a sudden there. Then, but anyway, I hope I didn't mess up that last clip. Oh my goodness! After that was seven, almost eight minutes. Yeah, and that, so all the stuff was right in that. But anyway, so the short, the short version would be a rude, rude woman got what she deserved was to be shown, you know, for it to be shown that no, you're not the boss of everyone. No, you're not. And you're rude. You know? <laughs> but she was so unbelievably rude. And then try to try to put it as though I were trying to to pull a fast one on them and all this stuff. And I was I, I wasn't really frustrated because in a, I had this kind of attitude that I kind of laugh at people, you know, that are trying these. It's like they're playing not not really laugh at, but kind of laugh, laugh not at laugh at people, but the situation. I'm amazed by how many simple things that are just so simple turn out to be so weird or like them these you know those two women that they're not the nice one but the other two trying to act like I'm trying to pull a fast one well, no she like the the nice one said see she wasn't wrong after all uh-uh yeah they needed that they needed that to be heard because it was loud enough to be heard in that part of the building, okay, by, m by several people. It needed to be, you know, because she was so rude to not just me, but all these other people. And, and seriously, you know, some people, they, they would, you know, if I had said, if it had been somebody else who was tr doing like that, and I had said, I want to speak to your manager, they'd say, oh, you're a Karen. That is racism, and people need to back off of that. I am a social and behavioral scientist. That's racism, ageism, and sexism. Back off of it. Don't develop that mentality. I don't give people advice or any really, so so I'm saying that in that sense of really, you know, I said back away, back off of it. But just think about, well, I don't want to give any advice either because you know what? People, in my experience, people who are going to do stuff like that, they can't think. They cannot sit there and say, well, wait a minute, that is, you know, because what they do far too often is somebody who's white, middle-aged or older, and um, a woman. Now, they, they'll have these exceptions to the rules, you know. It used to be about prejudice. This isn't about prejudice anymore. It's that they are being prejudiced now, but they're not going to admit, many. I mean, the ones who are doing it aren't going to admit to it. I have had that experience. I can't say 100%. None of this is. Nothing is one size fits all. It's not all or none and all that. But my experience in life, they don't change. People who are racist, sexist, ageist, on and on. There are so, so many more I call negative-isms. Yes, they, they, they just don't change. 
I've yet to see one. Let me put it that way. I can't say they don't, but I've never seen one. Never known one in all my years. Who's going to say, wow, I need to stop saying that. That's wrong. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't bring hatred toward women, white women who are middle-aged or older. We should not start to try to develop hate. So anything that they say, we just dismiss it. We shouldn't do that. We really shouldn't do that. Okay. But I've never seen any of them say anything like that. But if, but if it had been somebody, I said, I want to speak to your manager. They say, oh, one of those. That's how they're developing it. That's how, you know, I've said my view on this so many times. Is that these are the, potentially, some of them, allegedly, all of it, is in my opinion. And I could be wrong. <laughs> these are usually, often people who are slackers. Who they don't want to do their job at their job. So they don't want the, the thought to go out there to the world to be like, if you have a problem at a place where you go and you do business and you pay money, you're the customer, you are, that if somebody is very rude and obnoxious and da 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 da, da to speak to the manager, tell the manager that this is the case. They don't want that out there because there are people who are slacking on the job and who are rude and who are mean and who want to cut people down and put people customers on the defensive right off the bat and act like they're superior to them and you know I'm not saying a customer is superior to anybody I don't play that totem pole game I don't act like anybody is superior to anybody else not my style but these these I'm talking the people I'm talking about they do like this woman who seemed to think that she was everybody's boss but I showed her who's boss <laughs> actually the machine did I'm, I'm laughing. I really am laughing because it's funny. She was bossing it, man, trying to be every the customer's boss, the employee's boss, and everybody's boss. And she was going to tell me where my place was and make sure everybody heard her, you know. And the machine said, "Uh, uh, <laughs> she's first. You were. So, can you imagine if machines actually did listen? Oh, that's scary, isn't it?" Actually, listen to hey, she's she been being mean to that woman, especially she been mean to everybody. So we're gonna make her first. <laughs> I mean, it was like everybody standing in there, they were stunned. <laughs> I mean, I even would say, well, that's not fair, because she didn't go do all that. She was just asking questions. <laughs> you know, really, I should not have been first. When I took that spot so she would know, you know, karma's going to catch up with you. Like I said, I don't believe in karma, mystical, magical, any of that stuff. But really, it was one of those things needed, I think. Seriously, to tell her, you can't be like this. You need to stop. Seriously, she does. Anyway, wrapping it up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.